Hello everyone, back tuning in to today's uh, first video during weekend forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Saturday, having a detailed look at the weather for the weekend. It's going to be a lot of weather coming on in the week ahead. So we're going to have heavy rain, we're going to have gale force winds, there'll be snow across parts of the country as well. In fact, I think we're going to do snow watch tonight. Uh, so there can be a risk of some quite significant snow late tonight into tomorrow across some part of the country. We'll touch on that with weekend forecast, but we'll probably look at it in depth in Snow Watch um, this evening. So a lot going on, and uh, I'll get, get on with it for you very shortly. Uh, just to say that uh, today's other video, so I said we're going to do Snow Watch, that'll be this evening. In between uh, now and then, we'll have your week to 10 day uh, video update as always. The websites we're using for weekend forecast can be from theweatheroutlook.com and westcentral.d. you can find a link to both those websites on the links page. So so much going on, we'd better get on with it. So, this is the radar picture from the Weather Outlook uh, right now, and we can see that we've got heavy showers across Scotland and coming down into Northern Ireland as well. So, some very, some very bright colours mixed in uh, there, telling us that there's some really heavy showers. And they're wintry as well, particularly over high ground, but don't be surprised if there's snow coming down to low levels. Then we've also got some wintry showers moving from Northern England down in towards the Midlands. We're getting rid of the area of heavy and squally rain that we had swinging across many parts of uh, England through the course of this morning. These showers could be a little bit windy across parts of northern England as well. Down here in the very far southwest, we can see that there's an area of wet weather just beginning to appear on the radar picture out in the Atlantic. That's going to be tonight's rain and potentially, for some of us, uh, snow. So here's tonight's uh, here's today's toxic pressure chart. Uh, we're in this westerly flow. It's a strong and showering, quite cold westerly flow. Uh, there's an area of low pressure developing out to the west of Ireland. That's going to be moving in overnight through the course of tomorrow. So for the rest of this afternoon, we'll keep wintry showers going ac across uh, Scotland and Northern Ireland, particularly to the northern west, but some of them will get uh, inland into some central and eastern parts of Scotland too. Uh, then we've got the area of showers through northern England, north Wales, down into north Midlands. They'll probably push uh, over towards parts of Lincolnshire and East Anglia. They could be a little bit wintry over high ground, rain likely at lower levels. Otherwise, actually, a plenty, uh, there'll be plenty of sunny spells coming through this afternoon, so not too bad at all. Almost anywhere could get a shower, but uh, also quite a bit of dry weather outside of those specific areas where we've got showers uh, that I just mentioned. A brisk westerly wind will make it feel quite cold today. Temperatures will be ranging somewhere between around just uh, 3 degrees in the far north of Scotland to 12 degrees down in the south uh, of England. Overnight tonight, we'll bring that weather system through across uh, England and Wales. Some very tightly packed isobars around the southern and western flank of that area of low pressure could mean gale force winds affecting parts of southwestern England, perhaps, uh, by the end of the night and pretty breezy up the channel. So this evening, most places will turn uh, dry, actually, for a time. The showers will die back towards the coast. And for northern Britain, it's going to turn quite cold and frosty, with temperatures going down to minus 2 or minus three. But down in the far southwest, we'll have outbreaks of rain moving in from off the Atlantic through the evening. And um, that's going to spread northwards and eastwards across England and Wales overnight. Some persistent and heavy outbreaks of rain in places. And as that rain moves uh, into increasingly cold air across parts of Wales and Midlands and southern parts of northern England, so kind of like uh, Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, we will find that the rain turns to sleet or snow. Now, most of the snow will be on high ground. But don't be surprised if we see some snow coming down to lower levels or some sleety wet snow coming down <coughs> excuse me, to low levels. And on high ground, we could actually have a covering of snow across parts of Wales and North Midlands by the end of the night. Going further northwards to Northern Ireland and Scotland, a lot of dry weather through the early part of the night, but probably some sleet or snow moving into Northern Ireland by morning. Scotland stays uh, dry and frosty. Big range in temperatures tonight from minus 3 in the far north of Scotland to around plus 10 across the far southwest of England. 
Now, through the course of Sunday, this low pressure is going to be zipping off into the North Sea. It's going to leave us with a very strong uh, northwesterly wind. However, through the morning on Sunday, we've got this area of wet weather moving further north and eastward. So we'll see a band of uh, rain, sleet and snow, probably increasingly snow, actually, moving through northern England, northern Ireland and Scotland. There could be snow through parts of the Midlands and uh, some parts of Wales as well through the uh, early morning period. Don't be surprised there's a covering of snow almost anywhere across Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. And really quite significant snow is possible over high ground of central and northern Britain. Rain down in the south and all of this is going to push north and east through the course of the uh, morning getting out of the way through the afternoon with brighter skies following from the west. But then we've got these very strong winds. They could touch sort of 40, 50 miles an hour almost anywhere with gust potentials around 60 or 70 around some Irish sea coast and again around that uh, southwestern coast of England. So a very windy uh, day tomorrow. Um, and also quite a cold day as well as that rain clears through. Sunny spells will follow, but we'll also have wintry showers in the north and in the west as well. Uh, and temperatures tomorrow, where well, they're going to be really quite cold, uh, ranging uh, from just uh, 2 degrees in the far north to around 8 degrees down in the south. And uh, with both strong winds, it'll feel even colder uh, than that. Moving through to Monday, we've got this little ridge of high pressure, bump of high pressure, very transient, moving across the country ahead of the next area of low pressure winding up in the Atlantic. So Monday will be one of our quieter days uh, this week, if not our quietest day. Uh, this week we'll start off with widespread frost but also plenty of sunny spells and we should just keep quite a pleasant day going through much of the day I think there could be a few wintry showers in the north and the west but most places will stay dry uh, with decent spells of sunshine before eventually uh, by the end of Monday afternoon wet and windy weather starts to spread back into northern Ireland and uh, western parts of Scotland Temperatures will be cold on Monday or chilly after a cold start. We'll only see uh, temperatures uh, ranging from between around 3 and uh, 9 degrees Celsius. When it goes really quite stormy overnight uh, Monday and Tuesday, this might be our next uh, name storm, so watch out. Uh, for that, low pressure sweeps in from off the Atlantic, bringing heavy rain and gale or severe gale force winds uh, overnight, Monday to Tuesday. And through the course of Tuesday, we'll see the weather system that brings persistent rain, uh, clearing rain to the North Sea. But then we're left with this battering of really strong west or northwesterly winds bringing in uh, lots of showers. So we start Tuesday with heavy rain and gale force winds lashing the country. This rain will push across the country very quickly. It'll be blown uh, west to east by those strong to gale force winds. Although the rain might linger across parts of East Anglia, South East England through much of the morning, but it will move away into the North Sea. And then brighter skies with heavy wintry showers will follow along behind. That's when we get the strongest of the winds uh, noticed on the southern side of this low pressure through parts of west and southwest Scotland down to Northern Ireland, possibly Northern England. We could be seeing gusts of wind up to 70 or 80 miles an hour, uh, widely up to sort of 50, 60 miles an hour elsewhere. And uh, also bringing in lots of heavy showers which might merge into longer spells of rain. There's a risk of sleet, snow, hail and thunder. And the kitchen sink too in with those uh, showers on Tuesday afternoon. It'll be a cold day, feeling cold in the wind and temperatures only ranging from around 2 to 7 degrees Celsius. Watch out for blizzards and drifting snow over Scottish hills and mountains. That low pressure then uh, pushes off into the North Sea on Wednesday, leaving us with this uh, strong northerly wind. So showers and longer spells of rain, sleet or snow will be particularly across Scotland and northeastern parts of England on Wednesday, with gale force winds running down the North Sea coast. Uh, that will tend to move away through the course of the day. And this little bump of high pressure will then bring drier conditions in from the west. So gradually things will begin to calm down through the course of Wednesday uh, afternoon. But certainly for northeastern parts of the country, it'll be another pretty wild day on uh, Wednesday. Temperatures not quite as cold, but still a bit below par really for the time of year, ranging around 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. All changed for Thursday. The high pressure then uh, moves down to the southwest. We start to push in much milder air. Uh, from off the Atlantic, but there will be weather systems moving in with this milder air. 
So Thursday is likely to be a cloudy day uh, with outbreaks of rain, particularly for northern and western parts of the country. Some quite heavy and persistent rain for western Scotland, northern Ireland, northwest England and north and west Wales, possibly down to the far southwest of England too. Um, but central, southern, eastern parts of the country, although a lot of cloud and damp, drizzly conditions here, it shouldn't be anywhere near as wet. Despite all the cloud and uh, showery outbreaks of rain, at least it will be mild with temperatures up to 8 to 30. 13 degrees Celsius, feeling much more spring-like on Thursday. However, on Friday, a cold front will then start to move southwards and eastwards and begin to reintroduce cold air from the uh, north. So I think we're going to find a band of quite heavy and persistent rain moving southwards across England and Wales very slowly through the course of Friday. In fact, it could be uh, raining on and off all day across parts of England and Wales through the course of Friday. Uh, behind that rain band, it turns brighter across Scotland, Northern Ireland, and eventually Northern England. It will brighten up with uh, sunny spells coming through, but it will turn colder and showers will begin to turn wintry again across parts of Scotland. Big ranging temperatures on Friday, just uh, 3 degrees in the far north of Scotland to again possibly 12 or 13 down on the south coast. I and mean, as we move through into next weekend, we move that cold front away to ourselves. That pushes away on Saturday and we turn the wind into the north. So next weekend could be really quite cold indeed with Arctic northerly winds descending down across the country. We start uh, Saturday on a wet note down in the south. That pushes away and then sunny spells and uh, wintry showers following along behind with snow showers in the north. By the time we get through to Sunday, I think many northern and eastern parts of the country could have snow showers. Western areas likely to be dry close to this ridge of high pressure. It'll be cold, but it'll be hard overnight frost and daytime temperatures will uh, really struggle as well. So uh, might be mid-March next week, but still uh, definite hints of winter in the air, I think. Uh, finally, having a look at charts from weather outlook. So this is the situation uh, today. We've got the showers in the north and the west. The south and east has a lot of uh, dry weather. Through the course of the Sunday, here's all this wet weather piling up uh, from the south. And as that rain moves northwards, it could turn to snow through parts of uh, Scotland, northern England, maybe down into parts of Wales and the Midlands as well through the course of Sunday morning. It should all move away through the day uh, and leave us with sunshine and wintry showers. be very windy. Uh, as well through the course of uh, tomorrow. Monday is a quiet today. Make the most of it because as we go through to Tuesday, it's really wet and windy. Heavy rain lashing the country. Again, there could be snow across parts of Scotland and Northern England on uh, Tuesday morning with that heavy and persistent rain. And then that gets out of the way, leaving us with severe gale force winds and lots of wintry showers up in the north and showers for many of us through the course of Tuesday afternoon. Unsettled weather stays with us into middle of the week. So uh, first uh, Wednesday is still looking cold with showers and longer spells of rain. Could again be sleet or snow in the northeast on uh, Wednesday. Uh, Thursday turns milder. Thursday is our mildest day of the week. Outbreaks of rain in central northern parts of the country mainly dry down in the south, but then that rain pushing south, pushing southwards through Friday with brighter but colder air returning to the north, setting us up for what could be uh, really quite a cold weekend and wintry weekend potentially uh, next weekend. So in summary, there's loads going on after all of those weeks of quiet weather in uh, February, the Atlantic is really unleashed for March, so we're looking at heavy rain, we're looking at gale force winds, severe gales at times, there'll be sleet and snow coming along in places as well. Uh, temperatures will generally be quite cold, but it is going to get a bit milder uh, towards the second half of the week, at least for time. But by next weekend, we're probably back to cold northerly winds once again. Right, we'll have uh, today's uh, second video update coming up this afternoon on the homepage. And that's your week's 10-day video update, of course. And then uh, tonight, Snow Watch, we'll have a look at all of the snow potential uh, through the course of uh, tonight and also tomorrow. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.